yeah, definitely want to try this in a in a more modern uh, Diablo like. Hey, was Diablo the first game that really pioneered this? I'd have to look at that someday and actually see like what the origin of the genre is, because. You know, obviously, roguelikes have a very, very easy and clear, like, origin. Straight up just rogue. It's in the name. And works rather well, actually, as an homage slash whatnot. I would say, like, I kind of prefer NetHack from that era, but I think rogue came a bit earlier? I don't know. It's been a while since I've done any research on this sort of thing. Um, and, you know, you have Metroidvanias, but... You don't really have, like... I mean, I guess you have Di Diablo-likes and whatnot, and Souls-likes. Souls-likes are the most recent iteration of, I get, I guess, like, iterative titles, maybe? No? No, because we definitely have, like, MOBAs. Ah, but you don't, like, you don't call them Dota-likes, even though... Well, Dota wasn't even the first, now that I'm thinking about it. Dota was just the best one on, uh, on the Warcraft 3. I'm not going to say the Warcraft 3 site. Uh, you know, of the Warcraft 3 MOBA custom games, I think it was the best. Which was the first one? It wasn't... No, Her Heroes of New Earth was, I think, the first commercial one that wasn't... that wasn't built into Diablo that actually did well. But I think... I think it got wrecked. I think they over-monetized. League of Legends was free. Uh free to get into initially, whereas Heroes of New Earth, I think you had to pay to get in and then also pay for the characters or something like that, whereas, like, League of Legends was a little bit more insidious. I think that was the case. I, I barely bothered with either. I mostly only played LOL because other people did, and then I was just kind of like, eh, this really isn't my thing, but I'll play it. Like, if, if this is what the land party is going to be, then I guess I'll play it. And then, what other, what other new genres? Battle Royales. It, technically, Battle Royales have been around forever. So it's not like, it's not like there are that many, that many new ones. Or it's like, a new genre. It's newer. But like, they've been, they've been around for quite some time. They've just never been done well. Uh, between netcode adva advancements and, and tech and, you know, more people being kind of will willing to try that out. Uh, it's finally actually starting to see, you know, some level of market prevalence where previously it was like, you had like a couple of Arma mods that did it. And those were, I think, the only ones that actually did it even remotely close to well. And even then they were kind of clunky and awkward. Woo! I'm just gonna let that happen. Wait, are these enemies affected by the fire? It, it looks like they are. All right, I guess I'll just be here now. Oh, no, it's dead. I probably shouldn't stand there, though. What I should do is actually summon some more tuners. Oh. I'm not immortal. Ow. Let's see, can I, can I summon some nether imps in here? Because I'm, I'm pretty vulnerable. I take a lot of damage when something hits me. I shouldn't do it often. Okay, we good? We good. So, unidentified belt. Definitely interested in that. Uh, it's a little bit. That. What? Oh, bugger. I need a little bit of strength to pull that one off. So, let's not. Uh, let's see, is this better? Uh, yeah. Anything else? Yeah, maybe these boots. I mean, it's better resistance, but I just don't know if I care. We should check the am uh, the amulet at the very least. I don't have many of those. Extra gold find, extra dex. Eh. I'll live. Mine is zero seconds decrease summon duration. I'm not actually sure what that does. Either way, I don't think my my dog is really casting its spells. So I might switch them out for something a little bit more useful. 
Maybe I'll give it Flame Sword. Because, like... I guess I still had a golem. Wait. Oh, I see. Kill the previous one. I was like, wait, you can have multiple golems? But the answer is no. As soon as you summon one, the other ones just, just go down. Eh, that's fine. Save me a zombie horde. I'll just be over here. No! Defend master! Defend me! I'm just gonna pass it. Oh god, they already killed the giant spider. <laughs> hey, I have to do nothing here. Well, I'm sure this is supposed to be a little bit more challenging. And I have completely ruined the balance of it all. Hey look, a fairy circle of undead. This is dangerous. <laughs> we you can't stop me. It's interesting how many how many of these games kind of break down the moment you decide to stop uh, playing by the rules and just kind of do whatever you want. So in this case, it's just like I just kick back and uh, let my minions just roll through things. I guess there's like a little bit that I probably should do. Oh, let's summon another flaming sword. Just let it do its thing. Are they all are they all dead? Eh, we still got the tunnel spider. The tunnel spider looks imposing, but it's actually kind of a kind of a pushover. As are most things. I can't wait till we have more minions. I'll have to I'll have to look it up and see if there's like a a better way to get even more minions than I've already got. Because obviously we want as many as we we can grab. I want, I want to be covered in such a large cloud of minions that it becomes ridiculous. Oops. Okay, place an item to enchant. Let's up enchant this. Got a socket. Yeah, if I can't break stuff in the enchanting, I, it's kind of really tempting, especially as I get more money. Uh, to just go bananas on, like, a couple of pieces of equipment. Probably much later, though. Okay, I don't see anything else. Let's get out of here. Not really sure if that was actually a really worth doing, but we did it. Fine. Uh, let's see. Unidentified belts. Hmm. Still not really feeling it. Most of these are... Kind of just here. Let's go see if we can buy buy some more spells. Maybe there maybe there's something that I've missed or something new that's popped up, or we could just go make an egregiously strong staff and not use it. But shh. okay, so what do you got for me? Bee swarm. Ah, uh, it's more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Because yeah, I, I have summoned flaming sword already. Summon archers, but I want bee swarm. Anything else I can... Uh-huh. Not enough, though. That's enough. Alright, we've got bees. Okay, so what is of these, which is the least useful or interesting? For now, Summon Archer's one. Okay, so we now have bees. Bees! I wonder how many bee swarms I can have ro running at the same time. I guess we'll find out. Whoa, hello. Falcon's Dust Guard. Maybe I should put some points into strength anyway. That book you brought me, the Tome of Revelation, remember anyway, it mentions a seal of the Overseer tucked away in a... deep in the mountain. I'm sure it's overrun with monsters, but that just means no one else can steal our treasure. I'll open a portal, and if you can give me that seal of the Overseer, I'll even give you a reward. Thanks to you, I can afford it. Off we go. Okay, so I gotta I gotta test these bees. 
rupees. Okay, 40 chance to... Oh. It looks like it's more of a an actual summon here. Or, like, a temp summon. It's not super strong. But it'll probably get more ridiculous as we level it up. Unfortunately, it looks like it caps out at level 30. There's no, like, 1, 2, or 3 next to it. Which is an interesting question. I'll have to check that out as we go along. It probably gets reasonably strong. I'd like... Hopefully, we can actually get multiple multiple bee swarms as we go in. I'm pretty sure the bee swarms are modded thing. Bees. I like bees. Bees are probably my favorite insect. I'm not a big fan of insects, but bees are cute and extremely helpful. There's like mosquitoes. No. No, mosquitoes are kind of meaningless. Well, okay, they're not meaningless. They actually have, like, a very important part of the ecosystem, which is specifically things eat them. And they, I guess, control the human population to some degree. I guess that's what they're supposed to do. They don't do a very good job of it. Let's see, so what do we do? You know what, let's maybe get a point in Charm Spell Mastery. Because this will increase the damage considerably. What are the rest of these? Damage by 10%. Ooh, health stolen for Master. Critical hit chance, armor degraded per hit. Yeah, let's, let's get a point in that. Yeah. So I'm going to want to start leveling those as well. I forgot that the zombies would actually give me some HP. It's not much. It'd be certainly nice if it was a little bit more. Are we finding new potions? No. I probably shouldn't have summoned... Uh, I, I should probably shouldn't have sold all of my potions, but I, I think it's worth it. I'm fine. I'm healing slowly. We... We usually get, like, buttloads of potions sent in these games anyway. I just have to be kind of careful for a bit. All of a sudden, this game becomes actually reasonably challenging in an interesting way. Well, sort of. I'm not going to say it's that. That exciting. Mainly just like, okay, don't get close to the enemies. You don't actually have much health. And we'll get murked. Oh, do I have to do I have to summon some more imps? No, it looks like we're at we're at imp cap. They must have just gotten stuck. Happens. Can y'all fight? I think they're mostly just trying to get at me. They're not doing a very good job of it. Minions, kill things for me. Cause yeah, the main problem is I have to be in front. Uh, makes this a little bit tougher. I, oh, shoot, what was the game? Um, Masters of Anima, I think it was. Uh, it was something to that extent. There was a uh, there's an sort of action RPG, like RTS-ish thing. Uh, it came out a while back and had, like, interesting pet control systems. I, I really liked it, actually. Let's see. My main problem is I, w I wish it would tell me how many I had, or could have. Hmm. What level are, am I? Okay. Let's keep leveling that. For a little while, because this makes the B damage... Maybe? Rank 1 out of 30. Oh. It's an offensive spell. Charm spell, charm spell, offensive spell. Oh! So I gotta find some more charm spells. 
The bees are not a summon. The bees aren't a summon. Okay. That's something to keep in mind. That even though it's it's summon bees, it's actually like an uh, awkward. I wasted so much money on that. And it was wasted. I, it's probably... I wasted so much money on that. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm just, it's just... It would have been so cool. I wanted to just fight with bees. Well, so be it. I don't know. I mean, it's not, it's not so bad. I just... Just sad. So that means there must be other summon spells that I can get my hands on. Not just not just bees. Uh, I'll I'll look it up between because there's gotta be there's gotta be a better way to get more zambles than this. I just gotta get there. I'm trying to decide if I wanna get the uh respect potion. Because, yeah, this, this increases their health and health steal, and that increases their damage by a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's see if I can afford a, uh, let's see if I can afford a respec potion. Get rid of those, those charm level ups. Maybe? I, I feel like I'd be better served leveling other things instead. And I'll have to pay way more attention to what is an offensive spell, which is a summon. But admittedly, like, the, the sword and the bees aren't bad. I think they still scale based off of some of my things, but they're not gonna... They don't count as minions. And so they're not going to be affected by the rest of my, my dumb build. There's no synergy. I mean... Yeah, there's no synergy. Bees. Though I will give the bees credit, they do some damage. If I wasn't if I wasn't trying to be the one trickiest pony, I would I would keep with them, but I am I am full on full on trick pony at this point. We I do also kind of appreciate this is a game, you know, one of those games where I can just kick back and just play one-handed. Not because I'm doing anything fancy, but just because I'm so tired. I have packed up my hotel room or all of my stuff, which is like, it's a couple hundred pounds of stuff to, to move over the course of like an hour or two. Uh, and I've, I've done so like several times at this point, so I'm kind of pushed out, out, just got smacked around by a sword, bad sword, bad sword. I want to play a Minion Master at some point in one of these games that actually is, like, instead of summoning z zombies or skeletons and stuff, they are, you know, they're like a Golomancer, um, and you can almost, like, maybe even customize them or something like that, so if you wanted to have, like, an army of floating swords, uh, Aurelia style. Yes, I did play WoW for, or not WoW, LOL for at least a little while, at least enough to know. That's no good. But like, I don't know. I, I really I really like the idea of just like a bunch of floating swords fighting things for me. And like, I don't know, you could have some like uh customization wrapped in too. You know, what the materials what materials they're made out of. Uh you know, are they heavy golems, light golems, blade golems, crusher golems, uh, you know, artillery golems and stuff, and you you kinda like Finagle, uh, what's in them and how they work and stuff. I want to play that game someday. Effectively, one of these where every minion you have actually gets like a, a well, you customize them considerably as opposed to just like, yeah, it's, this is my this is my skeleton man. It's like skeleton men are just <sighs> samey. Like, every one of these games has Skelemen. I'm trying to think of other games with, like, cool summons. Planks. 
Masters of Anima, I think, is the closest I can come up with. Oh. Let's hit him with the bees. But yeah, compared compared to the amount of damage that my, my minions do when they're actually hitting an enemy, there's like no contest. Did I did I lose all my imps? I think I did. I'm not actually sure if they can really die. I think they might have. I could be wrong. Honestly, I want to play like more monster collection games. Like what is it? Uh, there's there's a game called RE Legend that I did like an eight episode series on recently. I actually had like a ton of fun with it. It was it was a neat game, and it's one of those where it's like I'd actually really like to play, uh, or play. I'd really like to do like really in depth character customization in that game. I don't think we're actually going to get that opportunity. Um, but, you know, the idea of a game, an action RPG, where you're wandering around and you have maybe a couple of minions with you, and they have in, insane amounts of customization uh, mixed in, would be really cool. Um, I guess, I don't know how many of you guys saw my World of Final Fantasy series a while back. Uh, wow, that's been a while at this point. Uh, like, almost two years? Maybe, maybe only a year, we'll see. Uh, but World of Final Fantasy was such a fantastic monster collection game. I'm actually kind of disappointed most of the games don't even come close. I like I liked Digimon World Next Order mainly just because nostalgia. It was an it was an all right game, but uh, but like I've always wanted to play one of these one of these games one of just a monster collection anything or a minion mastery game where you have like. You really can customize, you know, what are your minions based around? Are they, like, Crowders? Do you only have, like, two? Uh, you know, do they do they cast spells and kind of provide you ranged backup support? Or do you do the ranged backup support and they're all just, like, mobbing enemies so you can just pick them off with your spells? Well, hello. You found the Seer of the Overseer, your wonderful partner. I know just where I can find a buyer, too, so here's your share of the profit. Fame. And also some sweet shoulder pads that I'm probably going to put put away in the shared stash because I don't think I can use them. I mean, I could, but whatever benefit they give me, it's not actually that amazing. That is impossible. Like, it's nice, better than what I've got, but I don't think it's worth the extra points and strength. Okay. So, I wasted all my money... Is this guy fishmonger? Oh right, this is this is just the guy that sells fish. Ah, uh, let's see. So, oh, it doesn't even say. Well, can we just Google it from here? I'm just gonna Google charm spells. Uh, if the internet browser here works, okay. Let's see what good charm spells there are. God, hotel internet kinda sucks. It is so slow. It is so painfully slow. Alright, so what do we got? Char charm. Ah, here we go. So, enchanted sprite that attempts to temporarily force an enemy to fight for you. Identify. Interesting. Is is a charm spell. Not that helpful. Summon archers. Blood skeleton. Page does not exist. Who wants to bet that never just didn't make it into the game? Nope. Bee swarm straight up is a thing. And it's offensive. Damn it. So what I need is charm. No, blood skeleton might might actually be a thing because there's no there's no page for charm either. Okay, so I have to pay pay attention to see if there's a that skeleton two. Archer is three. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have the money for it. Eh, almost, almost had the money for it. 
Sell the fish. Make some money. Down. Business. Uh, let's see. So what do we do? Charm three. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just waste all my money. I have bees. I mean, they're good bees, but... I don't get boosted. Hmm. Well, whatever. I'll just be fine for now. Okay, so we're done with that. I don't think we have any other quests immediately to work on, so let's let's just let's just keep going down. Let's just go wreck people. <laughs> In episode two, this is getting crowded. I'm only gonna make it worse. I'm only gonna make it so much worse. If I can. I, I don't really know what the uh, maximum number of zombies you could possibly even get in this game. I hope. The beauty of these sunken gardens shines through an age of dust and decay. Why did they fall to ruin? Could the same corruption that affects me now be responsible for this centuries-old destruction? The thought that this blight could be so ancient unnerves me, but if it consumes me, I must go deep enough that I can never escape to do harm. And there is still hope, a fool's hope. But I cling to it. Hey, I really like this this biome. It's a nice biome. Okay. Uh oh, I remember it even has kind of that like loopy. What are they called? They're like metal drums. These ruins. I've read of them. This is Etheria. Their discoveries are the foundation of my art. Oh, I wish Brink could see this. Oh, that was fast. I have reactivated these three rune gates, but it is the fourth that leads deeper. Some threat must have caused the Asterians to disable it. The destination glyphs are missing. We'll need to find those missing glyphs to continue. Search the active gates while I study this chamber. Hurry, there are many obstacles between us and the Ember Forge below. You have oh, into the portal. Task. Wait, where did half oh, where'd half my minions go? Okay. There they are. There's the army. Mildly distracted. Somebody was saying, like, hey, you should try out, like, Home Away. Uh, seeing as you're living in, uh, hotels and I'm like, oh, maybe I should actually check that sort of thing out. I don't really know a whole lot of, like, New Age stuff. All I know is I've got a, uh, I've got a buddy who can give me discounts on hotels, so I'm like, well, I guess I'm just gonna use that. Unfortunately, that doesn't guarantee that hotels are going to be, like, good for what I do. I'm a good, like, decade off of actually being able to, um, I'm a good dick decade off of being able to actually, like, travel and not have my job get, like, impacted heavily. I mean, it varies a little bit. It varies a lot based on, like, okay, uh, you know, what is coming out when? How much do I have, like, saved up beforehand? Uh, can I get all of that footage on YouTube beforehand? So for this trip, I specifically planned out everything. It's like, okay. I'm, we're going to be moving in sometime around, like, Sunday or Monday, so I'm just going to have everything kind of queued up and ready for, like, let's go, let's go with, like, next Tuesday, just in case, you know, we run into interruptions or problems or anything like that. I didn't, I didn't really foresee having to immediately bail on the house that we picked out and then immediately try and find a new place and have that go awkwardly. Not so bad, but it's like... Well, baseline, not convenient. Want to make sure my my uh, my little imps are good. I mean, I pretty much just have to like bait them out and be like, attack, uh, attack them. My, my uh, I have to lead my minions in and be like, go this way, and then immediately like turn around and be like, flee. Kind of works. Mostly awkward, but it kind of works. Let's see. But yeah, so... I have no idea how to do this sort of thing normally. I, I don't travel much. I, like, I'm usually a bit of a homebody. And so this... This is not a good start to the year. 
because I've got ooh, big health potions. I actually need those. Uh, not a good start to the year. Because obviously, like, yeah, losing a whole week of potential recording time is actually kind of rough, especially if I want to go to PAX later on this uh, next month. Eh, a little bit off of March. That's, that's going to be spooky in its own right. I just, I don't like interruptions. I'm a very boring person. Yeah, boring. I think boring is relative. I actually like to go on adventures and try new things. Food tourism, I think, is my is my main go-to. So earlier today, we went to uh, was a Japanese grocery store uh, on the it was the, the the loud motorcycle outside. Uh, there's a Japanese grocery store kind of in the area, um, and uh, it was recommended by by Kaku Joe from Moose and Joe. And he was like, dude, you should go there. It's awesome. I'm going to come visit you and we can go together or something like that. And I was just like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, but so we went there ourselves today for ramen and the ramen was great. But more so than the ramen, it like it's a full on Japanese grocery store. So the, there was just like a full on bakery section and like all sorts of snacks and drinks and stuff. So I, I had uh, a Sam melon milk tea as kind of just a thing. And it was really good. And I drank it all faster than I would have liked, but yeah, it happens. Um, but, you know, just whenever I can have, whenever I get the chance to go to like an ethnic grocery store, I will. Especially if it's like one of the big or the, one of the like really good, well stocked ones. Because there's just something really fun about being able to like go into one of these places. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab like a half a billion snacks, and this is just going to be uh, this is just going to be my meal for the evening. Or I'm just going to kind of eat these. So we got Japanese cheesecake, which almost is like a really eggy angel food cake instead of actual cheesecake. Just gonna get my minions out, drop some bees, run circles. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like an eggier angel food cake instead of like a legit cheesecake, which is kind of neat. And then, uh, yep, I'm just going to ignore those guys. If I ever feel underleveled, I'm just going to do like a grindy map room instead of anything else. Hopefully we can get some of those like really high-end nether maps instead. Because the nether maps, I'm just going to stay away from that and just let that do its thing. Uh... I, it might not be a, a nether map, but there's maps that you can get for, like, really high-end areas. And those are usually worth doing instead of actually just going full clear. My pack is full. Ah, my pack is full. I guess it is filled with random guff. Oh, let's see. Dump a lot of it, because all of this stuff is crap. Not see anything else. I'm sure there is. I'm sure I could probably help. <laughs> but I don't think they need it. Like, I just have to exist. And all of my problems will get solved for me. Please stop doing that. I don't even know what that is. Venomous spirit. I don't know if that actually hurts my minions. 